What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Taz, and I am back once again. Today, we will be reacting to my first groupie by Yondon the Sauce God. Uh, I've been watching this video for the past two weeks. Well, for the, yeah, for the past two weeks. Uh, this is a new video he made. I'm a little late on his videos, but just by a bit. So, I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. And for all of you guys that's helping me out and supporting, please share this video with all of the people you know and support this channel way more so we can make it up to 3 million subscribers. Now I can start um, like doing more for you guys. All right, so make sure you, oh also, I want you guys to follow me on Instagram. Um, the link will be in the description down below and go to the comment section and tell me what kind of video you want me to do next. If it could be a prank video, reaction, anything. And you can also DM me what you want me to do on, on Instagram. So, I'm not gonna get back anymore. Let's get into it. So naturally, you know, just to warm up, Shawty brings it in real tight. And at that point, I was like, okay, it's Babadook time. God. Hey, what's up? I just wanted to tell you real quick to make sure you go ahead and check out my new single one more time. That is the name of the song, but you know, if you've already heard it, it would have hurt if you went and listened to it one more time. <laughs> I've been working on music privately for about a year now, and I'm finally at a place where I'm very proud of my music and want to share it with you guys. So go ahead and check it out. Link in the description. You can listen to it on any streaming platform, Apple Music, Spotify, SoundCloud, whatever. Enjoy the video. So it's that time again, huh? Story time. Now, I've been sitting on this one for a little bit, but the time has finally come. Now, I get that the idea of being famous isn't appealing to everybody. Not everyone loves the spotlight. And look, I get it. Tell me, have you ever heard someone say something like, actually, I, I'd rather just be rich and not famous. I can't relate. And it's probably because <laughs> I've always loved attention. I walk through my life like it's a music video. So Terry, what will you guys choose? Will you be able to deal with having groupies? Personally, I don't know if I actually want groupies, but in the little curiosity I have, I kind of want to know what, it, what it's like to have a groupie. Kind of want to know what it's like. Just, just saying. I just, I just want to see what having a groupie is. So let's get back into it. Okay, if a girl is putting me through it, I'll just be driving down the highway like. Going down the five, down the five, on the floor, yeah. Just last night you were blowing up my phone, yeah. It was just last night that you said you'd give it all, yeah. That's just me, man. I'm extra. What I don't believe is that there is a straight man on this planet who wouldn't want to step out of his car and be greeted like this. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I have not yet ascended to the level of fame where I get this kind of treatment. However, I have been fortunate enough to have a taste of what that life is like. So let's take it back, man, to right after I dropped out of college. Just over 4,500 subscribers. Literally one month before my channel would blow up and change the course of my life forever. It was the day of the Floyd Mayweather Conor McGregor fight, to be exact. And right before the fight started, I got a DM from this little chica that we gonna call Crystal. And it went something like this. Oh my God, this, this is Crystal? I don't know if you remember me, but I just found your YouTube channel and you are so funny. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. I don't remember the rest, okay? All I know is that she was gay. Will anyone find that just a bit suspicious? Just a bit. To me up. Now, 
Of course, I was flattered, but I didn't think too much about it. I mean, having 4,500 subscribers for telling stories meant a lot to me at the time, but I didn't think it was enough success to pull a girl with. You know what I mean? Like, at the time, if I was talking to a girl, I definitely would not have led with I tell animated stories on YouTube just for her to look it up and find this. I am just frozen with fear and any doo-doo that was about to come out has crawled so far back up my ass that I forgot that I was taking a sh <laughs> But fast forward a few days and this girl is blowing up my phone, my G. So I'm like, yo, hold up. Maybe there is something here that I'm just not seeing because I knew this girl from a class we had the previous semester in college where she sat right behind me. And the whole semester went by and she ain't said not even two sentences to me. Whoa, 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 whoa. So whoa, I'm whoa, thinking. Whoa, 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 I'm sorry I keep pausing it. I'm sorry, but hold up. Wait a minute. Y'all was in the same class for a semester and she said not a single word to you, bro? And she's like just now just seeing your, seeing your junk on YouTube. And she did this blowing you up for some reason, bro. For real. For real. I want to say she got to be a digger, bro. Yo, this got to have something to do with the YouTube thing. So I say, all right, let's see. So one day after work, I asked her if she wanted to come hang out and watch me anime. Bruh. Not even 30 minutes after I asked her, she was at my crib, my G. And when she pulled up, her seatbelt was strung through her shirt, which meant that she got dressed in her car. This girl nearly broke her goddamn neck just to get here. Also, it meant that the very first thing that I did when she got to my house was help her take off her shirt so that she could get detangled from the seatbelt. Already, the night is going very well. So I invite her inside. She changes into her bikini and then we get into the hot tub. So we're chopping it up, you know, and she's being a little flirt, you know. And as we're sitting in the hot tub, you know, eventually it gets, it gets pretty hot. You know, if you ever sat in a hot tub with someone long enough, eventually you got to jump into the pool. So we gather the jacuzzi and we hop in the pool. Now, remember, it's nighttime in august so the pool was cold so naturally you know just to warm up shoddy brings it in real tight and at that point <laughs> i was like okay it's babadook time. now for the uninitiated babadook is one of the highest rated horror movies on netflix this is my go-to movie during a netflix and chill session and you want to know something funny i have no idea what this movie's about. I have started to watch this movie more times than I can remember, and I have no idea how it ends. And that's because I couldn't care less about this movie. You see, girls want to get it on just as much as guys do, but a lot of them feel as if they got to pretend like they don't because they don't want you to think that they're a thought. But me know them better. I know that you just got to give them excuses to put themselves in positions for you to make your move. If you ask her, she can cuddle up with you under the blankets because she wants you to lay pipe better than Mario. Oh no, it's because the movie was so scary and it's dark and cold and she doesn't have a sweater. <laughs> so I start to get out of the pool and I was like, hey, you want to watch a movie? And then she was like, Mm, yeah, we, we could watch a movie. So fast forward and now we're in the bed and Bob Duke is playing. And just as sure as the sun will rise in the morning, there she was getting all warm and cozy. And as always, around the 15, 20 minute mark of the movie, I stop paying attention and the real show begins. Now, as always, this is YouTube, not RedTube, so we'll skip the details, but let's just say by this time, my V-card had long been retired and we took care of business. What I will say though, is that while everything was happening, I can clearly remember thinking, this is happening right now because I made this. Ha, <laughs> big man thing, big man thing. Yo, my just want to like a touch dog. Which at the time didn't make any sense to me. Remember, this wasn't young Don the Sauce God. This was just Don, good old Don, that works in the deadly department at a local grocery store. I wasn't making any money from YouTube. I was broke AF. I was driving a 21-year-old bucket. 
I wasn't even famous, really. I mean, I was still following girls from high school that had more clout than me just because they look good in a bikini. So, I ain't get it. But now I do. See, I don't think it was the fact that I make animations for YouTube that rose her attraction to me. She came over to watch me animate and at no point asked to actually see me do any animation. I think it's what my YouTube channel represents. I have something I'm passionate about and work diligently at. It also shows a bit of confidence because it takes a certain self-belief and comfortability with yourself to do what I do and to actually think that you can pull it off. In my opinion and based on my experience, Girls find those traits attractive. And of course, once the money and the fame and the accolades come, that just puts everything on steroids. Because now people are validating you with their money and their attention. In my opinion, these things are much more important than how handsome you are or how much money you have. Now, don't get me wrong, those things definitely count for something. But if you don't have something that you're passionate about, something that can give you a sense of pride and, and self-confidence, if you lack that as well as charisma and confidence and game, Trust me, you're going to be leaving a lot of opportunity on the table when it comes to girls, in my opinion. And of course, this is a bit of an oversimplification of a more nuanced topic, but to go in depth on my thoughts on a topic like that would require a, a whole video. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you get a notification when I post, since I don't post that often. Don't forget to go and stream my new single one more time, go ahead and give it a listen. Link is of course in the description. Also, I'm still taking questions for my upcoming Q&A, just go ahead and comment your question with the hashtag AskDawn. It's very important that you put the hashtag with no spaces, and then followed by your question that way i can find your comments more easily if you don't do that there's a good chance that your question could get lost into thousands of other comments these questions can of course be about me or maybe you want a second opinion on a question and you want to hear my thoughts whatever it is that you want to ask thank you for watching i'll see you again soon hey pick up the phone i want to go can you just hit my line okay that was something and you got some valid points. You made valid points about, um, like, you gotta be able to, like, apply yourself well enough and have that kind of motivation to do better and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said in the first beginning, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on the ground. The enemy. The punishment from the last video I made because you guys still haven't told me what the punishment was. So, this is your boy Tess signing out. See you next time. Be breezy.